So lads, a lot of people are asking me for budget players, for some cheap players, and I'm like, it's kind, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough thinking about good cheap and budget players, but no, no, no. This dude right here, you gotta get him, Robert freaking Reed. I'm telling you guys, he is him. He is him. 77 three ball, 75 driving dunk. You're like, okay, his stats don't look great. He is a six foot eight shooting guard. He is a six foot eight shooting guard, lads. It's actually mental. It is mental how good of a player this guy is, for, especially for his price. Uh, you are getting a shooting guard that is six foot eight and is a absolute chicken man for like a thousand MT. I know you're looking at buyouts at like 3K. You can get them for like a thousand. There's no question about it. About 800, it's not going to get bid up on that. But like, there's a reason Robert Reed's in my squad. He's not my starter. Hemi Buckets is my starter. But like Robert Reed is my bench. Like he is my bench shooting guard. The reason? He's just so chick. He's huge and he's chick. Like, as well as that, we can't forget. He's got one hell of a mustache. He has got one hell of a mustache as well. Like mustache man is without question DM. Like one of the best shooters in this game. This release is so chick. They actually changed his release. He originally had the full swing. They gave him a new release and his new release is equally as good. You're telling me that watching this, this is one of the most chicken releases in the entire game. Like every time Robert Reed's open, he's a guaranteed bucket. Like he scored in my Derrick Rose gameplay. He had eight points. He was my third top scorer after my Ja and Derrick Rose. And like I, my game is based around rim running to the basket with Ja and Derrick Rose. Like he was the next best player in my team. I'm telling you, Robert Reed, he's not going to create for himself at all. He's like, let's be real. There's about eight cards in the game in general that can create for themselves. But like, Robert Reed is just ridiculous. He is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous in this game. So yeah, let's just go on green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, like this dude, oh man, I am. He's just so damn chick. He is just so damn chick. You've got, let's go into clutch time. I'm two and two in clutch time. I lost my last game because I was trying, I'm probably gonna lose this game as well. Trying to run through Robert Reed. But like, it is so difficult to win in clutch time when you're running through one player because everybody just, because everybody's good at this game. Like, I very rarely play against a beginner, as in face against a couple of gold players and a starter squad. People just don't even use their starter squads anymore. Like, it's very rare I even come up against a Fred Jones. Like, everyone I come up against it seems to be a freaking demon. So, uh, yeah, let's go and see what we are up against here. Ja, Jordan, Xavier, Yanis. So again, this is a good team. Jordan's just a weak link, thank God. Like, there's no flaws in this team. There's no there's no bad teams anymore. You just don't face bad teams in this game mode. In this game in general, I haven't faced a bad team whether it be unlimited. And I haven't I've played like two golds in the past two days. And I'm getting mashed first possession. I'm getting mashed first possession, like. And that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? Um five out series. All right, so you can we just force Jordan to help off the corner, which we can't because defense are setting save. And we got a shot clock violation. Not what we wanted there. Not what we wanted right there. Uh, let's press. Wait at the basket. Is he, he's going to keep mashing me. And he got me with a back cut. Good job. Good job. Not like I'm saying genuinely saying good job because my opponent's done something very good about those possessions. He's played very smart. And he has dropped off Robert Reed for three. Green. Come on. You can't do that. You can't do that now. Like, I'm probably you're probably gonna read that again, but you cannot drop off Robert Reed. You can drop off Jordan, not a chance. Okay. 
Hemi buckets for three. Easy make. Come on. Hemi buckets is that dude. Oh, that's off. Okay. He's literally guarding him like he's the best shooter in the game. I really lost the ball there. I lost the ball. That's annoying. I shouldn't have lost the ball on that. I shouldn't have put Gobert on the floor either. Okay, we got him. I'm one. It's fine. Knock this, knock these two down. There we go. One for one. Yeah, second one here would be nice. And it's two for two. All right, again, read open is not easy. If you can hit, you can hit. Okay, I can't leave you open then. Like, I always got to see whether someone can hit, but this guy's good, so he probably can't hit in most scenarios. I didn't even get a meter. I didn't even get a meter showing up there. Like, you, you actually, once someone gets into the dead zone, it's over. Your corners don't drop anymore, but you're guaranteed to concede two points when someone gets into the dead zone. Someone cut to the basket. Jimmy Butler, we lost the ball. I really suck at this game. I genuinely do suck at this game. Okay, let's run. See if we can hit him on the break. Green that. Green that one. Green that one. Oh! No, that was a green. Oh my god! That's BS. That's BS. That's BS. I got some weird slow animation. I, I genuinely think shot timing or layup timing's gotta go. Layup timing's gotta go. Like it was OP on day one. For God's sake, Kevin Durant, stop dribbling the ball off the other player. Oh, we've lost. We've lost. We've lost. I'm not scoring seven points. Um, options controller settings. Can I turn layup timing off? Shot meter on. I can't turn it off mid game. I can't turn it off mid game. I gotta turn it off. I gotta turn it off. It's it's actually, it is it is costing me four points a game. And it's not like you don't green you don't green heavies anymore. Like day one layup timing was the cheese. It was just cheese. You do not green um, layups anymore. Oh, that's bad by me. I got a weird catch. I just gotta be more focused. I gotta be more locked in because again, if you're not locked in and you start getting weird catch animations like that. And again, I'm just getting my I've I'm just getting mashed. I'm just getting my head mashed in every single possession. I'm getting my head mashed in. He hit that one three with Go Bear, which was or with thing, which was nice. I mean, fair play to him hitting that one three. But I'm just getting my head mashed in every possession. And we just got blocked on a dunk. I'm getting outplayed here. I'm just getting completely outplayed. I don't even care. It's over. It's over. It's over. I mean, Robert Reed's had a solid game himself now. He's made his one shot. Man, we were 6-4 up. Clip him. Nope, we're done. Dunk it. Good, D-Rose. Come on. Drop all the way back. He's going to go to uh, MB and he's going to mash me. I didn't even, I wasn't even controlling Go Bear. We finally got him. Let's go. Got a D Rose. And that's green. Come on. We're back to five. We, the miracle might happen. The miracle might actually happen. Good defense, lads. Run. D Rose, you pushed up. He literally, he reached through Derek Rose's body to get the ball. I missed the break because he reached through my body. Oh my god. Like these these steals on the break are like so much more OP because it's because nobody's pressing square anymore. There's transition take fouls. 
Oh, he's got a shock on violation. Ow, that hurt. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to play this game yet. I don't think anyone really knows how to play this game yet. Like, I'm not going to be out here being like, oh, this game's incredible, this game's terrible, but, like, I, I do, I have had enjoy, I have enjoyed playing this game. Um, I will say, I have some weird feeling it's going to end up being the most frustrating 2K game we've ever played. Because there are a lot of things which make it very much frustrating to play. Not a bad game, per se, it's a bad release. It's 23 cover, I wasn't hitting that anyway. Like, for game plays, oh my god, unless a player's a point guard, where you're just not getting anything. And that, nah, nah, I'm, I gotta turn layup timing off. That's just cheese. That's just cheese. That that goes in 0% of the time with layup timing on. GG's completely outplayed there. But Robert Reed, again, he did what he was meant to do. Shoot the ball. But I, I'm i gonna say it this year. Individual card gameplays are not gonna exist until early in the game. Robert Reed did what he was meant to do. He spotted up, and he shot the ball. Settings. Where is his in controller settings? Shots only. Yeah. You've got it. You've got it. In general, really good card. Really, really good card. The issue is that I can't really show that he's a good card when he's like, well, basically being forced into not being able to create and you can't really create in this game and everyone has their settings so everyone is denying everybody it makes perfect sense but individual player gameplays are going to be impossible for the time being they really are especially if it's a budget player to be completely honest